Hey, what is up guys? This is the Dino Gamer back with another video. Today I am here with something that I have not done in a couple of years, and that's reviewing one of my own mock sets. That's right guys, they're back, and honestly, I'm very excited for this. If you guys are actually new to the channel, you guys haven't been here long enough, then you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. A couple years back, I did a, a whole series of LEGO mock sets for the Jurassic World LEGO dinosaurs, and I built enclosures for them, but the enclosures didn't really turn out the way I wanted them. And for some reason, those videos ended up doing a lot better than I anticipated, because honestly, those enclosures were crap. And trust me, a lot of people did tell me they were crap. And I'm okay with that. Truth be told, uh, that was only because I was working with Legos that I had kind of in a box. I wasn't really working with Jurassic World Legos. So this time actually for the Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs, I am working with uh, the Legos in the Lego sets. So as you guys can see, you could probably already tell that this, uh, all these Lego pieces are from the Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate Lego sets. So, so I basically took all the pieces from that set and made one giant enclosure to keep the Indoraptor in. And basically we're just gonna go ahead and review it today and see how I did. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and start with the front gate. Now the front gate was probably one of the harder things I've had to work on. It was pretty difficult trying to get this gate up with the pieces that I had, but I was able to make stuff work and it's kind of being held together kind of by a thread almost it feels like, but really it does kind of work. The gates do open up. Uh, they, they do like this, uh, they're kind of on like a, not really a ball joint, but they can turn around in all directions, kind of giving this uh, uh, breakout feel to it, which is kind of what I was going for. I kind of wanted the interrupter to kind of break out of somewhere So I figured let's make the front gates breakable or look breakable and I think I've succeeded in that So, you know, there's that the whole top part is created with uh, basically just a bunch of spare pieces uh, This was actually, you know, fun fact one of the last things I ended up building in this entire set So I was kind of running out of pieces So I just kind of used whatever I had to create that top part next to the gate We have this small room that I kind of intended it for it to be like a I guess a room meant for like a uh, like an exclusive room to get like a closer look at the Indoraptor. You had to pay extra in order to get in here, you know, get a be like front row seats kind of thing. I ended up using like the skyline uh, window to, uh, you know, as like the window to kind of see, like it kind of reminds me of an enclosure window. And it's just a very small, tiny room, just a little added detail there that I just wanted to put in. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool at first, but then I realized I was running out of pieces, so I couldn't even build a proper room all the way. And that's why the top of the room looks like that uh, but luckily I was able to add a door at the very least and some windows so it does look somewhat elegant and it does look like I tried a little bit <laughs> On the next side of the enclosure, we have a two-story building. Uh, basically, I decided to use all the pieces that were in that science room in the, you know, the Lockwood Estate and just kind of reuse them for this room. This is kind of like the behind the scenes science room, basically, you know, just like the incubation station. As you can see, you have the umbrella, you have the incubation station right there, some of the um, computer tech, I guess. I'm not really sure what that is. You have the Indominus Rex uh, bone right there. You have, uh, you have Eli Mills, I think, I think that's it. I'm not really sure you have the magnifying glass right there and of course we have the computer and uh in the back as you can see there's that little box that holds the egg it's really dark i'm sorry that you can't see uh clearly i tried zooming in at this point and it did not work uh but you know what it is and then of course we have uh the desk that was in uh across from Maisie's room in the uh, building and on the second story is a very plain kind of a uh, viewing station kind of thing you know you have a uh, uh, gunner eversol right there with a baby dinosaur it's a very simple build not too happy with it because it's too simple i didn't really even think about adding a second story until i was almost done with the set and i realized i had a lot of pieces left so i decided okay i'll just use the rest of these pieces to just kind of add on to the enclosure and i ended up building just a second story uh viewing station kind of thing you know basically just an extra place where you can just view the interrupter get a closer look at it and i really don't like it starting on the next side i try to give this corner of the enclosure a more natural feel by kind of making it look rocky using the pieces of the uh of the rooftop of the you know lockwood estate but i don't think i really succeeded in that because it looks terrible next to that are the balconies that are actually a part of the lockwood estate set i literally just took them off and added them to the enclosure the only difference being that i kind of flipped these down are pictures around they're supposed to be flipped on the other side but I made them facing this way to kind of give the enclosure you know just a little bit more 
decoration on the outside. Now that way the outside doesn't look so boring. Now this side was obviously one of the easier builds to do seeing that how more than half of it is not even my own creation. <laughs> On the final side, we have, well, a very plain build of yet another viewing area for the Indoraptor. Uh, again, very plain, not too much here, just Maisie and a little baby dinosaur. I used all the elongated pieces to kind of give it a real uh, fence feel to it. And right next to that is actually a pretty cool build that my little brother made and I just kind of added onto the enclosure. And that's this small and simple build of a telescope. I was actually really impressed by how simple it was uh, that I just had to add it onto this build. I guess I'm just impressed by how something so small using so little pieces can look so much like the actual object. I also like the fact that it's sticking to one basic color scheme being white and beige or tan or whatever that color is. And that's pretty much it guys. This is the final corner, which is basically nothing. It's just a very plain build. At this point of the build, I was trying to use the rest of the pieces that I had because my goal was to use every single piece of the uh, Lockwood Estate Lego set. And well... I don't really think I reached my goal. But nonetheless, I did try my best and despite the amount that I actually have in the bag still left, I think I did a pretty good job adding as many pieces as possible. But now we're gonna go ahead and view things from the Indoraptor's perspective. I almost said Indominus Rex. And uh, we're gonna take these guys out and take a look at the inside of the enclosure. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and just start with the gate. And already you could tell that there's not really too much of a difference with the gate or the rooftop. Uh, there's basically just the same thing as it does look in the front. Um, but on this side of the enclosure, there's uh, you know a very plain wall, but I try to give it a pretty gritty look from the inside by adding in some wall textures that we were able to get inside the Lego set, um, including, you know, those very flat pieces of wall. I mean, I, I had to use pieces as much as possible, so I obviously used those for the walls. This entire side also consists of some uh, textured Lego bricks and whatnot, and uh, that's kind of what I used for that. I don't really look like how the top of this looks. Uh, again, I was running out of pieces, so I didn't really have much of a choice when it came to that. Well, I guess I did, but the outcome would have looked uglier than this, surprisingly enough. I also put in decorations on the inside of the enclosure because, you know, I felt bad for the Endoraptor having such a boring enclosure from the inside. So I decided to put this up. Really, this flat piece of wall is just covering up some uglier walls that have a bunch of pieces just kind of all over the place. Uh, if I take it out so freaking clumsily and uh, breaking everything in my way, you'll see what I'm talking about. There we go. As you can see from that, you know, wall, uh, I would have much rather have that up than just kind of keep this the way it was because it just kind of looks ugly and all over the place and I figured it would just be so much easier if I put something to cover that up. Next to that we obviously have the balconies from the Lockwood Estate set uh, with the pictures flipped because uh, I wanted them to I wanted people to see them from the outside and of course we have this plain wall right here. Uh, I don't really like how the top of that looks. It is so crap. I really do not like that. As you can see, uh, again, I was trying to use as many pieces as I possibly could for this set. So at this point, it just started getting a little bit ridiculous and I was just using a bunch of pieces for nothing. And that's when I broke the, uh, <laughs> the telescope. One thing I do know I did good on was making the set spacious for the Indoraptor because in the previous mock sets that I made, I got a lot of complaints on how small the sets were and uh, how little space the dinosaurs had and you know what I, I you're right that the, again the sets were not really that good but as far as this set goes it's pretty spacious I really do like how you know much space the Indoraptor actually has and you can actually kind of move it around which is something you don't really get in a lot of Lego sets I also decided to put the Triceratops skull in there kind of indicating that it you know it's being fed I tried to leave it just laying in there, but it wouldn't stand up upright, so I decided to just put it on a platform, you know, the, the same thing it was kind of on before. And there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. That's the entire Indoraptor mock set. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Honestly, this was pretty fun to build. I haven't really played with Legos, you know, making my own creations with just Legos out of a bin in a long time, so this really brought up some good memories. I want to give a quick thank you to Jurassic Kingdom, who left this comment giving me the idea to kind of revive this series because if it wasn't for this comment, I probably wouldn't have done it or think to do it on my own. So, you know, thank you Jurassic Kingdom for that. Uh, I brought up some good memories of, you know, building Lego sets when I was a kid, and I got to play around with some Fallen Kingdom Lego sets making my own creation, which I have to say I'm pretty proud of. I think for the most part, I did pretty okay with this set, although it does need some improvements, but I'm not gonna improve on this set. I'm probably just gonna destroy it just a day later and literally just 
put it back together as the Lockwood Estate set. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and then I really hope you enjoyed this mock set because I am planning on making more uh, Lego enclosure mock sets for the rest of the Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs uh, because I really enjoyed this and I want to do more and so I'll probably just do it for the Carnotaurus, the Sigi Moloch, and the Velociraptors and pretty much the other Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs that we have and maybe when the new Lego sets come out, you know, the ones for the Secrets of the Isla Nublar uh, TV show or movie, I, I really don't know what it is, I'll do Lego mock sets for them too. It might be a while until those come out though because technically this video was pretty delayed and I was supposed to have a whole planned schedule with these mock sets but it never worked out so I do apologize for that. I do have other stuff planned so I won't get to these videos right away. It could be weeks until you get another mock set video or it could be months. I'm sorry guys I just don't have a planned schedule when it comes to this kind of stuff but uh, until then guys I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Lego mock sets and other cool dinosaur stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and please have a nice day.